What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Platinum Walkthrough. Okay, so, in our last episode, we, yeah, we had an exploration of the ages. We went to go grab a bunch of items, and now it is finally time for us to go straight to Candelave City because, well, you know, it's been, uh, yeah, it's been waiting for us right there. And, uh, well... <sighs> All we need to do now is go straight to Jubilife City and go west of Jubilife. Right there, you'll be finding a big body of water. And yes, Electrostar is still with us. Yes, he's going to be saving us. Saving us from all this disaster. Now, if you guys remember last time, we went here in Route 218 to, in order to get ourselves an old rod. And what we're going to do right here first is we're going to be battling quite a few trainers. We're going to be making sure that we're nice and ready to go in order to beat, you know, whatever trainer comes ahead. And, uh, well, let's see. Let's go ahead and use another map. Oh, yeah, well, it's still lingering. So let's go right ahead and surf. And if you guys don't know, this is my favorite spot to actually train some Pokemon, especially with the VS Seeker. Why? Let's go ahead and start battling them. Now, these fishermen are not so, like, they're... they're they're not the usual fishermen that you go and battle. These guys have Gyaradoses. Literal Gyaradoses. And, well, as many of you guys already know, it gives you experience points like nobody's business. So if you guys need a, like, a place to actually train your Pokemon with the VS Seeker, this is the place to go. And, well, this guy's going to have... Uh, well, he's going to have five Pokemon, I think. And, well, he's going to be coming out with Remoraid. So... Yes, this is a good place to actually train your electric type or your uh, grass type Pokemon, or just Pokemon in general. But any kind of a fisherman with Gyarados is, they, you know they, they are a top notch trainer. And as you guys can see, kicking butts, taking names. Did our thing. That's right. Okay, so let's get the heck out of here because uh, Candleave awaits. And, uh, well, let's see. Bam. Shortcut, but we're still going to be battling this guy. So let's go right ahead and battle him. He's going to be coming out with a Mantike, as I, you guys already know. It's the baby form of Mantine. And here comes Machoke, so let's go with Togafree. And fly attack right here. Nearly for the win. And, well, let's go with the Grass Knot because, well, you know. And there it is. Level 34, level 35 for all our Pokemon. Yes. And this guy looks like he has some interesting Pokemon right here. So let's go right ahead and use Rosemon. And get attacked by him. Let's go right ahead and see what he has. He does have Krikatoon. So let's go with Magical Leaf. Not so effective. But it does get poisoned. So let's go right ahead and go back to Togepri. And just like that, you're going to be poisoned. Come on. And just like that, we beat you. And he's going to be coming out with a Magnemite, so again, another Fire Blast, and just like that, we win. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and grab these berries. Obviously, this is a good place to actually slab some honey, and just to find some rare Pokemon right here, too. And there we go, Figgy Berry gets got, and there we go, Pinat Berry, alrighty. So, we finally made it, guys. We are in Candelave City, and this guy... Notices us and he's like Draven long time. No see. Oh, you look puzzled. You're wondering who I am I am professor Rowan's assistant Don's father the professor asked me to that I upgrade your pokedex that you see So I cho chosen a spot on a hunch that you'd pass through Draven may I have your pokedex for a moment? Let's see. Where was I supposed to put the software here? Ka chunk -ka chunk and all right. I've upgraded your pokedex I should explain how it's been upgraded shouldn't I? It's now dis uh, now it now or it can now display images of male and female Pokemon. Okay, I'll leave you to carry on with your project of your, uh, the professor. May I ask you to keep an eye out for Team Galactic? The professor is concerned about what happened in Jubilife City. It's probably nothing to worry over. I'll just be on my way. Okay, alrighty. So here it is, guys. Candelave City, finally. Okay, so in 19 episodes. We finally get to Candelave. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to heal up our Pokemon, and I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, guys, so here we are back in Candelave City. The number is 45 episodes. 45 episodes it took me to get to Candelave, and, well, this guy's like, um, who did you say I was again? Oh, yes, this is the move deleter. This guy will actually help you with uh, deleting moves and uh, for you to actually get some better moves and all that stuff. But, yes, this place right here... 
took us 45 episodes in the previous Pokemon Platinum walkthrough in order to just get everything going, and I was like, man, what was I thinking? Somewhere far beyond the vast sea, there are other lands populated by Pokemon and trainers. That is true, and if you talk to her, hello trainer, this is something I found. It was mixed in a load of cargo from another country, it's not anything that I could use, so I, can, uh, I think you should take it. And here we get our TM48, and I believe this is Embargo, yeah, I think, yes, oh no, it's Skill Swap, okay. So anywho, yeah, 45 episodes guys, literally 45 episodes to finish, or to get to Candelave City, and I'm here just like thinking to myself, wow. Anywho, oh god. He's like, whoops, hey Draven, you're getting, uh, you're going to challenge the gym leader past here, hey? Someone should check uh, to see if you're ready for this challenge. Someone, that someone is, yes, with me, a brand new badge, me. Oh wow. I hate this guy. I hate him. So here we are, guys, battling Barry again, because, well, Barry just can't F off. He's coming out with a Staraptor at level four, uh, 36, and, well, let's go, go ahead and charge, and this one's going to be an explosive diarrhea one, and he thinks being evasive is going to help him. No, it's not. So he's going to be coming out with a Rapidash. Let's go with our good old buddy Poseidon now, and let's go with a Surf Attack for the win, and here comes Heracross. We got a Pokemon for this Pokemon, you know what, and let's go with a Fly Attack, and Fly Attack does the trick, quadruple damage. Here comes Torterra, and, uh, hmm, you know what, let's continue it on right here. I do have a move for this Pokemon. Here comes uh, Fire Blast, nearly does it. Let's go with a Fly Attack, and there we go, Fly Attack for the win. And here comes Float Cell, so let's go straight for Rosemon this time. And let's go with the Giga Drain. Yes, whatever you're doing, it's not going to work. Yes. How's it feel to fail? <laughs> oh, man, I love beating Barry. What just happened? You're telling me I lost? Yes, you did. I am victorious. Yeah, yeah, you're just as better. You're just a bit better than, than me, as usual. But listen up. Let me tell you who's going to take on the Pokemon League and become the champion. You guessed it. It's going to be me. Anyway, you should go up. Uh, you should go to Iron Island and toughen up some more. Yeah, train in Iron Island. That's what I did before going to the gym. So, what we're gonna be doing here, guys, before going to the Pokemon Gym, we're gonna be going straight to Iron Island because, well, yeah, there is a, something of importance right over there. And before we do anything, let's go ahead and use a Super Potion. And let's go ahead and talk to this guy. And yes, we're going to be going straight to Iron Island. And, uh, well, I cannot wait because there is something of significance over there. Something of big significance. Big significance. Alrighty, so we're floating. We're going. We're doing it. And, well, here we are in Iron Island. This place is, of course, home to Rorch's daddy. And, well, as you guys can see, nobody's here, but Iron, Iron, Iron Island is exactly what it is, and if you talk to this guy, he's like, you are? Okay, you're Draven. I'm Riley. I'm a trainer, and yes, it is a bit odd that I would be training here. Anyway, it's nice to meet another trainer. Here's a gift. Here we get ourselves the HMO4, which is strength, and yes, he's telling us that it is strength. To use it out, out of battle, you need the mind badge from the Candlelave Gym. I'll be training inside. You can join me if you'd like. So that is exactly what we're going to be doing here, guys, is we're going to be exploring this place like nobody's business, okay? Because, uh, again, there is something of importance right here. Big, big importance that we're going to be needing eventually for our adventure. And, well, let's see. How many... Let's see. How many repels do I have? Holy crap baskets. Oh, wait. That's the wrong section, huh? All right. We got 13 max repels. Let's go right ahead and grab some items right here. So, like I was saying before, guys, 45 episodes it took me to get to to Candelave City and just do something with it. It really, you know, to me, that's just baffling because here we are in episode 19, and we're darn, we're like, we're almost done. And God dang it. Okay, so, yeah, we're almost done with this walkthrough. Holy crud. And... There we go, and just like that, level 35, and that's how it feels to fail, okay. So yeah, like I was saying, guys, we're almost done, and, you know, I guess you could say that the mentality, look at this, we got a protector, which is a held item for right on, 
that way it can evolve. And, uh, well, let's see. We do need to revive our electric type Pokemon, so let's go right ahead. And let's go right ahead and go in straight to this section right here, and we get ourselves a yellow shard. So yeah, um, the mentality has changed when it comes to doing these kinds of walkthroughs, and that is because, well, shoot, about a year ago, about a year ago, I, I pretty much told everybody that we're restarting. This is basically Act 3, and, you know, it literally took me like about two to three years in order to finish, like, to get to where I am right now. Uh, when it comes to the previous walkthroughs, and then I literally had to stop with, uh, or I, I, I literally had to pause certain walkthroughs that I was currently doing, like Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and all that stuff. Missed out on a, quite a few things, and uh, you know what? To me, it's it, it is what it is, guys. I did what I did because I kind of wanted to, you know, progress my channel, make it better, and uh, I kind of feel like I kind of feel like it's it's actually doing it right now. I'm actually doing what I'm supposed to be doing. A little bit better there's you know there's more that you can actually find onto these these walkthrough videos rather than just you know the usual spiel of like you know here's this here's that and all that stuff um, I know that there are other walkthroughs that you know I probably should be getting on it real quick but we will you know I, I, like I said we will continue on to it we will continue on with them in a later date just because well I'm having so much fun with this um, Depending on when this video drops, I'm kind of hoping that, you know, Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver will be done. And here we found ourselves an escape rope. That's pretty cool. So, like I was saying, guys, uh, I'm kind of hoping that we'll be done by with Pokemon Heart Gold, Soul Silver, and then we'll be starting up the 3DS games such as Pokemon uh, Alpha Sapphire, which that will be the next game. And, well, look at this. We are here. And, well, let's see, we're going to be going towards the left section right here, or the right section. Actually, yeah, I, I kind of feel like there's a there's an area right here where we, sh we should be double teaming and all that stuff, so let's go ahead and battle. Yeah, we're going to be battling. So yeah, like I was saying, guys, um, yeah, we're pretty much doing a pretty good job doing, um, doing our thing right here. So, you know, pretty excited. Um, the, let's see, there are other games too that I didn't even, it didn't even finish. Like, Pokemon Moon, yeah, that wasn't even finished because of this whole Act 3 thing, and, uh, you know, I am planning on getting back on that. Not onto the, the walkthrough itself, I mean, we're gonna be doing it a little different this time because I did lose the files to Pokemon Moon. So that's a big shame right there, and, uh, well, let's go ahead and use a Max Repel right here. Like I said, there, it's, it, it's a, it's a big shame that, um that we had to redo that all that stuff but you know all of this is giving me time to like I guess to redo some stuff and get better at the games and get better at my walkthroughs and all that stuff and that you know I'm pretty sure like all of this you know this right here is basically you know I wanna say this the views the subscribers and all that stuff that right there is the proof in the pudding that you guys are enjoying the walkthrough so again thank you guys for being supportive as always and here we found ourselves the TM 23 iron tail and well let's see now the funny thing is too guys as I am currently doing this it is April 9th okay it is currently Easter and you guys are not mistaken I have done by the time this this whole recording is done I will have already done 20 episodes in about three days three days tops when it comes to Pokemon Platinum and like I said I want to complete this walkthrough as quickly as possible now here's Riley he's gonna be waiting for us and he's gonna be like Draven I'm glad to see you here if you don't mind let's team up uh, the Pokemon seem to be restless and here we go we got Riley and well just as always he like many other opponents or many other people will be healing up our Pokemon so we're gonna be going with Gaia 2 right here because well this is gonna be interesting and it's gonna be a one-on-one -on -one battle right here okay so never mind and of course yeah we're gonna get paralyzed and here comes an onyx gonna be faster than us and just like that we win and here comes a Steelix again and so far we're not doing much and this Steelix is just getting super speedy but too late and yes toothless has grown levels and I guess we should have stood right there in order to battle these two people so yeah okay so that 
It's not a big... It's not a big, uh... Well, it's not nothing too bad and all that stuff. So there it is. And we win. And of course, our Pokemon are getting healed, as always. So, let's see. Another great thing, too, about this game is... Well, another great thing about the Act 3 is that... You know, good old Draven has remembered or has learned to learn uh, how to fix his mistakes. Like, for instance, gaming computer. Managed to get myself a gaming computer that will, you know, that actually helped us out in the long run right here. And, you know, back then, like I said in a previous episode, it was all a laptop. Literally a laptop, guys. And, yeah. <laughs> And a laptop can only do so much, especially when it's just a regular, uh, what was it? A regular laptop. And, well, let's go right here. We're going to be grabbing ourselves an Ultra Ball. And that right there is going to be useful. Now, this place right here will be of uh, some importance later on, too, especially when it comes to the legendary Pokemon. And here we found ourselves an Iron Plate. And let's see. The two make better, three make a spirit shaping the world. And, okay. So that right there is that. And, well, let's see. We're going to be grabbing this. We're going to we're gonna skip those girls for right now. Actually, oh yeah, that's not the exit. So, let's go ahead and battle these girls. Or two people. It's a boy and a girl. And they're coming out with a low punny in a, in a quagsire. But yeah, like I was saying, guys, we've improved a lot when it comes to the quality of the, the items that we've that we bring in here with the whole, uh, what was it called? Um, oh, wow. Here comes a Staraptor. Okay, so let's go with that. And that messes us up. Okay, so here we go. Aerial Ace defeats us, and we got two Pokemon down. And what? Does he only have one Pokemon? Good gravy. Okay, so let's go with this. Make it a one-on-one -on -one battle. Shockwave. Get this guy. There it is. That's done. And here comes a Calm Mind. And we better do something about this before this Metacham starts whooping us, and... Wow, okay, so Metacham, thanks to this guy, messed up, so here we go. Get a Flying-type Pokemon, and there we go. Okay, so that would have been bad, and right now all our Pokemon are getting their butts kicked, so... Let's go with this guy. Come on. And let's go with a Grass Knot onto this guy, there it is. And Psychic Attack, and wow, our Pokemon are just getting rocked, so here we go, Pluck Attack, and just like that, we get some experience points, and all our Pokemon are leveled up again. Anywho, um, like I was saying, guys, yeah, I did buy some quality equipment and all that stuff, you know, microphones, um, learned Adobe Premiere, learned a lot of stuff, and that's pretty much the game, the name of the game of YouTube, and that is who can learn the most, who can do the most, and all that stuff. And the more you learn, the more you'll progress, and that's pretty much what it was. YouTube University, you gotta love that stuff. And, well, let's go right here. And, well, we're gonna be battling another pair of trainers. And six Pokemon in all. Like I said, this probably would have uh, taken about, this probably would have taken about, like, a good hour. And this is good for us right here. So here we go, Psycho Cut. And Vital Throw. So we better make sure to save this guy right here, Psycho Cut, and here we go, double teaming him again, Force Bomb, and there we go, we have defeated him, holy crud. Okay, so, let's see, grab this, we found ourselves a Max Potion, and that right there, I think that's pretty much it, if I'm not mistaken, no, there is a, there's one more thing right here, and that is this, the HP up, which... You know, of course, will increase our HP. What else can we What else can we say about this whole walkthrough, too, guys? It's not laggy. We're kind of screen recording it, and uh, what else? Yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's not a screen. It's not laggy. It's screen recording, and the quality is just perfect. And well, here we are in front of the Team Galactic members, and they're gonna be wanting to battle us. So let's go. To, let's go right ahead and just smash on these guys. So. Here we go, taking on both Team Galactic members, and obviously, you know what, I know that this guy's gonna go with the Glam Meow, so let's go with this guy. There it is, and Psycho Cut, and here comes a Golbat, and well, let's go with the Psycho Cut yet again, 
And yeah, we're just smashing on these Pokemon and we're not going to be doing no helping hand. So here comes a Hound Dower and both these Pokemon are going to get just, they're just going to get defeated. Look at that. Easy peasy. So Grunt number one is going to be like, stop. I said, stop. Your combination is so sick. The both of you, you and your Pokemon. Let's beat it, partner. You said it, brother. We don't even know what the Team Galactic's big plan is anyways. So, after defeating everybody and, you know, helping out Riley, he's going to be like, you really helped me out. Listen, I have a Pokemon egg here. Would you like to take it with you? The only problem is we do not have space, so we need to get back to him in a later turn. But there is one more thing we need to do, guys, and that is, well, the important thing in this whole section right here, and that is that little Pokeball right there. Because this Pokeball holds the Shiny Stone. As many of you guys already know, the Shiny Stone helps evolve either Togetic or, or yeah, Togetic or Rose or Roselia. And here we have a Metal Coat. Now, we're not that far away from getting the Rock Climb technique. And in doing so, the Rock, the rock Climb technique right there will actually help us out later on into our adventure. So, let me see what is going on right here. So, here we have Toga uh, Togetic at level 35. If we were to evolve it at level 35, let's see, let me try and find its Pokedex entry right here. Yep, 45 episodes. Yes, it took this long this long. Holy crud baskets. Where the heck are you, Togetic? Okay, so... Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. So, it doesn't learn anything else. It doesn't learn anything else, guys. It's just, uh, you know, there are some moves that you can teach it now with the help of hard scale. So, let's see. Let's go ahead and look at Togetic. Let's go ahead and see Togetic when it when it comes to let's see its stats and everything so let's go into the Johto decks right here it is at level 35 and well two levels are gonna learn safeguard level 42 baton pass level 46 double edge and level 51 last resort now going into the next Pokemon right here not this guy holy crud okay Rosemon or uh, Roserade or no not Roserade or Rosalia Rosalia right here is at level 34 and uh, well let's see I'm looking at the pages right here so at level 34 it already should have learned in grand which you know we didn't uh, we didn't teach it Toxic is his next move at level four, uh, 37, level 48 Petal Dance, level 43 Aroma uh, Therapy, and a level 46 Synthesis. So, when we're looking at all of this, guys, it's looking like that Togetic is going to be the Pokemon that's going to get evolved first. It is not the end of the world because we do have another Shining Stone along the way. We just need to get the uh, we just need to get the the Rock Climb technique. Now I'm going to go with Roserade right here. Where the heck are you? Let's see, there is Roserade and Badoo. So Roserade eventually has some different moves that, you know, it will it will have already learned. So I think we can be patient with Rosemon right now and just use that Shining Stone to finally evolve Togetic. So let's go right ahead and use that Shining Stone. As you can see, two Pokemon can evolve from it. Let's get it. Togepri, you're finally evolving. So, in making this team, yes, I was, uh, Togepri, like, many of you guys have been complaining about, like, Star Raptor being on the team, not being on the team, but, yeah, I've always wanted Togekiss on this team ever since I used it in Pokemon as Sword and Shield, and, well, now that we got this Pokemon, it is buffed up, guys. It literally is bust, uh, buffed up. So, here he is, Togetic, or Togekiss, Togepi, uh, Togepri, I should say. And this Pokemon is an absolute tank when it comes to special attack, special defense, and everything. So, yeah, we're going to have this. Now, its ability has Hustle. It boosts the attack and lowers the accuracy. And, uh, 
Well, I can't wait to use it in the next episode. So thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being patient as always. In the next episode, we're going to be going in here into the Candleleaf City Gym, and we're going to be battling a gym leader, and uh, well, we're going to be figuring out some stuff later on. So thank you guys again for watching. I'll see you guys next time.